Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris, and tonight we are talking about the Patreon pick. That is the 1999 horror movie, The Killer. I I can't get my eye any closer. Before we dive into all of the... I, Hans, I feel it uh, appropriate to remind everyone um, of my affliction. Uh, so, oh, Christ. Uh, a movie that, you know, somewhat triggering to someone with my <laughs> affliction. And, um, you know, I'm just asking for a little bit of respect and thoughtfulness in uh, when we talk about this sensitive subject. And that is, of course, I eyeballs. hear you, Chris, and I appreciate your vision. <laughs> But I feel very pressured. <sighs> Ooh, that's gotten <laughs> fucking close there, son. Um, but Glaucoma is not. I was trying so hard to make an alternate <sighs> title about with Glaucoma in it, and I just could not. Come up <laughs> you with sons anything. of bitches! <laughs> if you ever get a, a, a very awful disease or whatever happens to you, I'm just going to make jokes about it too. I'm going to make it into every bad movie night podcast. Spit Scott Rombo stiplosis. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know it. Yeah, that can't you be good, right? It to me, Chris. <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, it's e- easily communicable. Easily communicable. Not you, like you need to stop coma, sharing though. inflatable sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a vector that's, of transmission. That's that's post pre-show material right there, Aaron. That will not be doing the podcast. And there's no way to access that. I believe you are chart. correct, Chris. <clears throat> so. AJ's not here. He couldn't handle the heat of, uh, I don't know, coming back to the podcast. I guess he needed a week off uh, (laughs) because he wasn't here last week. And you guys, I don't quite understand why it was the longest podcast in all existence. Oh, my God. It took forever. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Rebecca's like, are we fucking done? I got to go to bed. (laughs) Yeah. Rebecca looked like she was going to murder someone. I I I was ready to. (laughs) <laughs> We're adding segments to the show. Did we? <laughs> we did. Oh what did we add? <laughs> Taylor Ants. Oh, yeah, oh, what was on. that? That was cool, though. Taylor's name. But what, what was that? <laughs> Not like, were you guys drunk or something? What, what were you talking? You just kept going. We don't got know. Ca- you got carried away we, with we the power is we what it was. All of the segments, Chris. Yes, I used most of the bumpers. We I come, think we the podcast video. was longer than the actual movie. It was. I think... <laughs> I think Dr. Spider-Man said it best, <laughs> is that with great power comes great responsibility. And what you guys demonstrated is... This is why we're upper <laughs> management, Chris. <laughs> perhaps you are not ready to wield such power. We delegate. Uh, we don't do. Okay. So, we can uh, not do that tonight. And just have, you know, an average running podcast length. Does that sound I'm fair? on board. Well, Rebecca this movie is only is 72 on minutes, board. so if we can do well, 72 minutes... Well, that's not true. And we will dive into that when we get to the discussion of the killer eye. Now, here's the real question. Who can tell me what the killer eye is about? In a world. <laughs> you, are you doing it, Aaron? Do it, Aaron. It? All right. Starting it. There's a dorky doctor, and he likes science stuff. Uh, I like science. He I hires male mates to prostitutes and tries to perform eyeball operations on them using drops. Put this in your my, eye. My hourly rate's the same. His wife feels very neglected. Oh, so she tries to hit on literally everybody, friends. including the two dudes who were in a romantic relationship. Uh, they sit around in their underwear bed? like in college with Spiv and I. I mean, wait, what? Huh? Oh? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but out pops a giant eyeball from eighth dimension and it then wah, decides wah, to watch wah. people take showers and generally dum, dum. rub tentacles oh, yeah. on them. Dum, dum. Oh yeah, dum, dum. And, but it's afraid of light because eyes can dry out. <gasps> oh no! But it doesn't dry I out. 
so thirsty. Because it eats brain matter to moisten itself. And then what does it do? It takes the doctor to the eighth dimension full of balls. <laughs> Giant balls with eyes. <laughs> In <laughs> the killer eye. Killer eye, 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 eye. Touch my tits. The darkest is <laughs> triggering to people with glaucoma. Um. Wait, hold on. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's my turn, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now I th- I'm starting to see why last week's podcast was so long. That was a very, very thurbo, thorough, thermal, thurbo, <laughs> thermal, thermal. That was a turbo hole. Thorough uh, premise turbo plot. section, Aaron. Yeah. You you left nothing to the imagination. You didn't just What's give like us a premise. Movie? You gave us the complete plot and rundown of the feature. Uh, <laughs> I decided to try to keep it. this short. So you kind of spoiled it. So I'll see you guys uh, later. I appreciate <laughs> appreciate the efforts. Um, uh, but I think. Now it's time to get into what you Bip do switch. specialize in. And that Bip is, of switch. course, history. Oh, yes, we do. And we get do into we? the history hole for 1999 oh, to talk about uh, stuff that is... Uh, is it even related to the movies anymore? I don't actually I know don't what the really section think. is anymore. I don't know what this okay. is anymore. Well, let's whatever go find put together out. five minutes into the history, into the uh, pre-show. Ban- the banter section. I spend okay. more time making the, the masks than I do actually <laughs> looking at things on the internet. So Fair enough. <laughs> I think that's actually <laughs> it's a better the right way time. to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here we go. Are you ready? For Aaron's History Hole. All right. The killer eye. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm, I'm like a monster oh, zinc guy. Oh my god. Yeah. Mike Wazowski. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if you just listen to this podcast, you definitely are missing out on this section oh of the my show. God. <laughs> why, why is he a flasher? <laughs> well, that's pretty much what the eye is in this movie, right? All right, the killer eye has a runtime of 72 minutes. Chris will get into the more detail about that. It was released on January 18th, 1999 in the United States. Some other films from that month were Varsity Blues. Ah, don't oh, know. I never saw that. Your Is that kind of Devin Sawa? No, Kirsten. No, uh, no. James uh, Vanderbeek. Creek. Yeah. yeah. Is that with the whipped cream? Yeah, yes. that's the only the thing I remember about cream. it because that was I've interesting. It, yeah, I don't remember anything <laughs> about that movie otherwise. It's a good movie. You should. Is it, it's about football. Football. <laughs> it's it's about, about Texas football. Yeah. Texas Ooh, football. Two Texas. things that I have no interest in. <laughs> it was just it's kidding. Fun back it's, very, really cool to go it's very 90s. Ooh, I like the 90s. 90. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Uh, speaking of very 90s things, we have Virus starring Jamie Lee Curtis. That's a fun Donald movie. Sutherland. Donald yeah. Sutherland. Southern, Sutherland? Yeah, Southerland. Yeah, Southerland. It's a good movie. It's not and a good movie, but it's a fun movie. Peak 90s teeny bopper movie. We have She's All That. Ooh. Mm. Who knew Take she was the glasses, the man. glasses. Mm-hmm. Take, out the before. Take out that ponytail. Yeah. Spiv, that's what out. you need to do. See, we don't. I, that's not fair. I don't have anything that works the same way as a ponytail, no ponytail. taken out. That's because yeah. you're starting with a. You can wait, fluff no, out your that. beard. There you go. Oh. If I go like this, this is like. <laughs> you just look like an Amish guy. <laughs> Did that. The pheromones or whatever hormones. <laughs> I've got my work. eye on you, Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one when when I see a, a, a beautiful woman next time. You should I'll, definitely I'll not try that. Flare out my breath. Like you flare your beard. Like, hey, how you doing? Uh, so my skin follicles come out. <laughs> That's what a lot skin. of birds do. That they just the puff things up. Puff Ooh. things out. <laughs> Yeah. I've been puffing this stomach out for a while. <laughs> Throwing face it. pubes everywhere. <laughs> Chris, Chris, do a dance while flapping your stomach. <laughs> oh, man. The effort might work. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe I'll write a shitty song. What do you have to lose? <coughs> That's true. All right. So, speaking of mediocre people, we have David Dicoteau <laughs> as our director. D- Dakota? Dakota. 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 Yeah. He's done tons of movies, most of them terrible. Things like My Stepbrother is a Vampire. Wow. He's done Creepazoids, <laughs> Sorority Babes, and Slimeball Bullarama, which is also so on our wheel, wheel right? Mm-hmm. But There's a sequel coming. What you may not know is that he's done 25 of the wrong movies, like The Wrong Student, 
the wrong crush, the wrong man, the wrong child, the wrong tutor, the wrong mommy, the wrong roommate. Oh my Bam. god! Yep, starring some people there. Eric Roberts visit. Of course, he's the wrong Fox. roommate. <laughs> Dude, we should watch that. That looks pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is good. that fake Jodie Foster? <laughs> It looks she like looks it. like Jordy Foster. A little bit, yeah. Bizarro Foster. Eric Roberts looks like an like an ant there. Is that Vivica Fox? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, no, shit. it's Vivica A. Fox. How dare oh, you? Not <laughs> is, there, is there another Vivica Fox that she needs the A? Possibly. Yeah, there's a Vivica B. Fox. <laughs> yeah, C. Fox. <laughs> All the way she's, to B. Fox. She's not as good, though. <laughs> no, yeah. of course not. But he's also got some other movies we need to check out sometime. We have Stem Cell from 2009. Oh, shit. Just when you mm. thought your DNA was safe. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> back. <laughs> While recovering from emotional trauma, Rita heads to the mountains so she can recuperate, where she encounters the horrifying results of a scientist's experiments in stem cells. I don't didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> Stem, uh, stem cells. What, and none of that was. I didn't understand any of that. It was stem cells. Incoming. What are you? I don't even know what those yeah. are. Are these from your back? Stem cells. You get those from your back? No. 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 Fine. Whatever. You Where get do you from get them? Your gallbladder, from? but you don't have one of those, so you're just Fuck. fucked. You get oh, from no. stem, Chris. <clears throat> All right, Chris. Speaking of things that you may enjoy, Speed Demon from 2003. A mysterious Ooh, driver a in a muscle car course. with a demonic hood mm-hmm. ornament hunts down a gang that has taken over a small town. With a demonic hood ornament? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I think they don't even have a hood ornament, ornament there. I, I don't get it's it. No. racing stripes. <laughs> even a hood ornament. Yeah, I don't know. They're stupid. What do you expect? What year uh, is this from? That's 2003. Uh, so it's around Fast and the Fast Furious time? Probably. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. probably terrible. <laughs> Um, all right, so our writers for this film, we have Neil Marshall Stevens, who did 13 Ghosts. He wrote 13 Ghosts, which I like that movie a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun one, yeah. Um, and we also have Matthew Jason Walsh, who did Kingdom of Vampire and Bloodletting. But he also did Deep Freeze oh, from 2001. Shit. That looks badass. Yes, that this looks, looks cool. Algunas awesome. cosas es mejor. And in our Can con geladas. <laughs> I don't know what that Speak means. <laughs> Is that a bug? <laughs> it looks like some sort of bug. It looks yeah. like it, yeah. Yeah. Looks cool, right? That guy is definitely deep froze freezing right now. I know. It looks awesome. That's badass. Yeah. So this is uh this is from 2001. An Antarctic drilling station is under attack by a mysterious killer. Will anyone survive? Nope. Probably not. Maybe yeah. one person. So it's probably a ripoff of the thing, uh, but it looks pretty cool. We should watch it. Um Put it on the wheel. The third writer for this masterpiece was Rolf Kanevsky, who wrote Art of the Dead, which we do not want to watch. Oh, I covered that. Ooh, <laughs> oh, me. Richard Grieco. Oof. Yeah, it only has a little Richard Grieco in it. Not quite enough Richard Grieco for my liking. <laughs> remember that David Dakota Richard Grieco movie we watched? That I was I don't remember what it was called, but I know there was one we watched, yeah. Was, was like, that uh which one was that? Tomcat? Boys. Boys in the, like a uh, super sci fi oh, prison. That's right. What was that one called? It was actually pretty entertaining. That's when I had COVID. Was that the one with the golf carts? No. no. It was no. like it was like two rooms basically. It was two rooms. In space. Rico got sweaty and made them work out. Yeah. Oh, two rooms oh. in space with the garbage disposal kid? No. It was like that's redemption or something. I don't remember. Anyways. Yeah. Something like that. Um, our cinematography was by some guy. I forgot to write down his name, but he has 170 <laughs> credits. <laughs> but you the know. eyeball eyeball flasher is ready. It's ready. <laughs> um, he did do Droid Gunner, which we covered a long time ago, and he's done camera work for films like Double Impact and Atlas Shrugged. Double Impact. Most importantly, when looking for this film, it recommended me some films. And one of the films it recommended me is probably a new series we can cover. It's called Witchboard. <laughs> oh, Witchboard. Yes. The first that Witchboard has Tony Katane in it. Right. This is Witchboard 3, The Possession from 1995. The so, ultimate evil. It already looks better than Witchcraft. Over. It does. Yeah, yeah, look it does. at those cool, cheekbones. Actually. That is some oh, solid yeah. cheekbone action, Rebecca. It is some cheekbone yeah. action. If that guy wrote you a song, I bet you'd be all that. over it. <laughs> oh, God, that song. And I believe that's all I see on my list here, Chris. I gotta share my screen. 
get ready. For okay, that. Uh, Aaron, that was great. That was a great little history oh, hole. Thank you. Time to move on you. and do I'll the rabbit hole. See you again. So, soon. are you okay? You're still talking. Okay, <laughs> see Andy. See you uh, again. <laughs> Goodbye. Are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm done. I did my part. <laughs> okay, here we go. Off to the rabbit hole. It's time for the rabbit hole. Grab your rope and your galoshes and prepare to dive deep into your host's wealth of knowledge with more connections than a LinkedIn recruiter or a Wikipedia editor on a five-day net vendor. Here's your host, Lindsay Washburn. Ready? That means yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Do it now! I still can't Get see down. you guys when this pulls up. Uh, here's job. our movie, The Killer Eye. There were a couple different posters for this one, but I really, I really like this one. I think it's, this one's it's a cool the poster. best. Yeah. And um, like we talked before, it's directed by David <laughs> Dakota. That's an interesting hair of, choice. But that's your hair in like three years. <laughs> Why the two no, little patches? Been this way for like ten years. <laughs> And he has, um, when it comes to a lot of his movies, he kind of has, um, he kind of does the same thing a lot. And that is shirtless men mm. on the front. That's something he's kind mm. of known for. There's at least three or four shirtless dudes on every one of his um, <laughs> DVDs. And then he has this whole 1313 series, which is like seven or eight movies. And all the covers are like four dudes in this redhead chick. So I don't know what that's about. Is there a pizza place tangentially <laughs> related to this? <laughs> <laughs> I see the redhead is Hillary Clinton. Oh, oh she, she's a lizard. Oh, no. We should watch these after the witchcraft movies. No, get her emails. Thirteen, thirteen, cougar cult. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are they just like homoerotic movies? There's or, three nerdy well, but like we, college students. We can get into it because I'm so confused by his movies. Yeah. <laughs> And he releases a lot, like five a year. That's how many movies lot. he releases. It's it's. Oh, Brink Stevens is in this. Extensive one. resume. And you shoot him in three or four days. <laughs> True, but uh, he got his start in film from Roger Corman. Um, that lady in the background's angry about. She's yelling at somebody. It's like Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> It's Reese Witherspoon. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm motherfucking Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> and of course, Roger Corman, he directed 55 films and produced 385 uh, between 1954 and 2008. It's a lot of Jesus. It's a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. um, but his first one was uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, back in 1958, and it gave Charles Bronson his first leading role uh, in a Jesus, movie. Jesus, he looks old there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Would he just permanently look old? Some people look old all the time. <laughs> um, Some of them are on the spot. Like, like Patrick Stewart always kidding, looked just old. Kidding. He did. You know what I mean? Did, yeah. mm -hmm. But he was never mm -hmm. like that like, old for a he while. Hit, like, now he's 60 old. 60 and just stopped aging for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like back then in the 70s, People just looked rougher because they were all like, smoking so much. Yeah, it's like yeah. the people in all the movies we watch from the seventies. Is this 70s. the fifties? Yes, mm -hmm. I didn't know they had fucking yeah. pictures back in the fifties. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, a moving picture. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, and it's based on this guy, George Machine Gun Kelly, and he and his wife and his gang were active during the Prohibition era. And in 1933, they kidnapped oil tycoon Charles F. Urschel. <laughs> Herschel, and uh, he sounds like he looks like he sounds and says his name that way, right? Herschel, <laughs> and they got their two hundred thousand dollar ransom, but they Damn. left so many uh, fingerprints and clues and stuff behind uh, that they were arrested shortly after. Um, so they didn't really get to enjoy that ransom money, and he spent seventeen years in Alcatraz. Wow. They called him um, Pop Gun Kelly because he liked to tell a lot of stories and things like that. And then he died of a heart attack in 1954 oh. in Leavenworth Prison on he his pretty happy though on his birthday. <laughs> Didn't he look happy about like being yeah, in the grass for yeah. 17 years? That's his death picture. <laughs> oh, you think that's like his body? <laughs> like he's literally dead right there. 
<laughs> they come in and like make them smile and then take the photo quickly. Is that what they do? <laughs> hmm. I feel like in like the fishing line. What was it 1930s when they did this? Like it would have been pretty easy to get away with crimes. You got to be really bad. Yeah. That's right? Because they don't have DNA well, or anything. Do they even down. have fingerprints they're or anything? Not yeah. having cameras up. The... No. Mm-hmm. No, you could get away with a lot. And then, of not course, um, that's how Machine Gun Kelly, this guy, got his name. Who's this guy? <laughs> the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Machine Gun, Gun Kelly. Kelly. He's dating Megan Fox. Is that Megan what the kids Fox. are listening to? Yeah. They're exchanging blood with each other. 1990. He's how too is young. Megan Fox now? Like 45? Oh no, she's like <laughs> she's young, late thirties, yeah. I think. Oh, she's like Chris's age, mid thirties. Megan Fox is let's see, born eighty six. Thirty. Oh, there you go. I'm only thirty six, dude. Yes, uh, Megan Fox. He's like fifteen you. though, that, so it is a little weird. All right, he's thirty two. Are we? Uh, is if he's thirty two, get mm-hmm. a job and move out. Fucking machine gun killer. <laughs> <Jesus, laughs> we should send him to Alcatraz. Are we ready to move on and talk about the killer eye? Okay. Let's go. All right, here we <clears throat> go. Instant Illuminata hit a Patreon ass on the podcast for only two dollars a month. Hey everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash badmoonnightshow and sign up. For $2 a month, you get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre-show, as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash badmoonnightshow. The Killer Eye. This was a patron pick. Do we know who, who picked it? A patron. Okay, thank you, Spit, for that uh, information. Taylor Aaron. Ann. Okay, Taylor Ann's pick. Interesting. Not That's who I would have guessed. Surprising. Yeah. So, Aaron, what did you think of the killer eye? This is porn without porn. <laughs> I mean, it's really Wait, the, we- the quality of the acting beyond the special effects for the eyeball itself. Like, the story is fucking stupid. <laughs> I hated this movie. It was terrible. <laughs> um. <laughs> Not a fan of the nipple touching. Okay, so there was nudity though. Not really, not much. Oh, oh really? I, I saw nudity. There was I saw a lot. Much. Yeah, I mean, I was, saw yeah. full frontal. Yeah, full in the show. Yeah, that's just true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. I forgot about that, but I'm saying there was no like, there wasn't a lot of like thrusting action or anything of that nature. Like a lot of the soft covers. <laughs> no, it was all just tickles. This is this is great. I love saying these words while my niece is on the uh <laughs> <Nick again>. <laughs> Need more thrusting. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. No, it was terrible. This is terrible. Terrible. Rebecca. Yeah, it was uh, it felt like somebody that really likes tentacle porn wanted to watch a movie but then like that's the only thing they had in their mind so they forgot of like any kind of plot or storyline or hiring actors that were worth anything and great <laughs> big fan yep. she said it was great not okay big fan I heard movie of the year <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, what'd you think? Uh, yeah, there's definitely very little plot in this movie. Um, but the style of it, it reminded me of like 50s B movies, you know, that they'd play at the drive in, like Attack of the Killer, this, or mm. Attack of this giant monster thing. So I like that part of it. Um, and uh... <laughs> yeah, creepy little eye. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants lie. love. He just wants just love. Watch it. <sighs> but yeah, there wasn't much going on in this besides the tentacle porn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But some of the stuff was <laughs> some of the stuff was so bad that mm. it was funny. So I enjoyed mm-hmm. it on that level. Big fan. Spin. <laughs> 
huge fan. Yeah, maybe maybe I missed the real cut, Chris, that you watched. Um, but there was a lot of rubbery tentacle things that that the women just did not pick up that were tentacles. Um, <laughs> and yeah, kind of just like eyeballs staring at them. You mean to tell me you don't flop your thing over your wife's shoulder? I was trying like to that? think. Like, what did they think it was? I. Uh... Well, with uh, while using low elect- amounts of electricity, oh I think the eye was doing magic was, or something. Yeah, right. yeah there's some yeah. Uh, hip hypnotism. Hypnosis. Thing. Yeah. yeah. If I pull my eye, it was out, all does it have through all the like... electricity of the nipple that all uh, that yes sucked them in. Mm, it's a power source. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this it's, movie was just dumb. Not a fan. Not a fan. There's no air panic. <laughs> Needs more airplanes. This movie feels like it was shot in like four days in a warehouse. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think it was in the guy's apartment, but yeah. We don't understand David Dakota. Because all of his movies are like this, where it's like a bunch of half naked dudes that are it's very homoerotic, but then like they just make these women get naked. And I'm like, who is this for? Is it just for David Dakota? Like, is I don't understand. Dakota. You know what I mean? Like, it's leaning all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And I just feel like, I don't know, if you're going to have hot dudes in it, why aren't they the ones getting naked, right? You see the one's butt, kind of. Yeah. Mm. But. Yeah, as he's kissing her back of her legs something i don't know exactly minutes. what he was doing and then doing says there. okay i'm done <laughs> he was, he was, that's enough he was, he was pleasuring a woman's spiff that poor lady she just wanted an orgasm mm. and it took a killer eye that. from the eighth dimension to give this Finally. woman an orgasm <laughs> maybe that's why everybody else is giving up so like, we can't help you so that's uh call it the eyeball jacqueline we tried Lovell. everything we're all out of ideas <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's the backstory. They've all tried everything to get it to happen, but <laughs> the entire finally, apartment oh, building right. has tried. We need to get a creepy failed. eyeball alien from the oh eighth my dimension. Oh my One apartment with French doors for the main entrance. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? She deserved one. She was supporting this asshole. I know he was just using up her money the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Look, yeah. if she comes in and and wants to She's talk about his league, yeah, orgasms. You're dropping what you're doing, and you're going to just have a nice little chat, I think, right? <laughs> he misses his whole experiment. <sighs> they so just street. did it last Thursday. <laughs> it's the street kid? What do you think that is? What? Just... <sighs> Sailing. Yeah, I'm water. I always wonder, like, in movies, when they, because I watched Predator 2 the other day, because it was badass. Oh, but anyways, in the one scene, he, like, takes a whole bunch of cocaine and throws at his face. Mm-hmm. What is that actually? Cocaine. Okay. Oh, okay. It was <laughs> Sometimes I, I know in one, uh, what movie was it I was watching? I was looking at the IMDb thing. It said they used crushed up vitamin B or yeah, something like so, that. Yeah. But wouldn't that still like irritate your nose? Oh, your... yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Some some movies have used like uh, coffee creamer. Oh, just, yeah. All sorts oh, of weird why shit. Why would you just use flour? Well, you don't want flour to get flour, up in there. That would you know, clog up, up your holes, yeah. Pixie sticks? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> That's your, your diabetes. <laughs> yes. It's like going back to fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, that this movie is sort of uh, reminds me of From Beyond. Okay, but like right? in a really bad in premise? way, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, bit, def- yeah. it's definitely that style yeah. of like um cosmic horror whatever you want to call it yeah like, it's like a really it's like a porny porny version yeah it's a soft but from beyond already version. has like the sexual stuff going on with barbara crampton mm-hmm. etc well it does it way better than this oh is that one with the giant spider alien thing it doesn't no. have the, one the two where jeffrey combs has a penis coming out of his forehead yeah have you never so seen from <laughs> beyond i don't think i've seen that <laughs> from beyond what? is amazing Spit from beyond movie. is amazing Sounds um, like it. Do I have my? I know I have it oh, somewhere. She's got it. Oh, she's got I'll it. look later. Got... You have to have it. I do. I'm just not sure which shelf it's on. 
So I'm not sure what was what was different about my version, but my version was like an hour and 33 minutes long. Oh, whoa. Where did you watch it? Hmm. On Full Moon Streaming, which, by the That's way, is the, sh- the shittiest streaming site I've yeah, ever experienced. I paid for that for a little while. Do you know how many terrible. times it just like wouldn't play and then it would yeah. just stop and I'd have to wait for it to buffer and all kinds oh, of shit? God. <laughs> they didn't I think I'm probably like the, the only person streaming on there, too. But yeah. Um, and I think there's it. a... Yeah, couldn't handle the, the load. <laughs> Couldn't handle the the, nah, the eye load. We'll go with lips. <laughs> you eye see load. the doctor. There's a sequel to this movie too. too much that's pressure. not too old. Which oh really? Yeah. Guess what it's called? I'm not interested in watching at no. all. The Is killer eyes. The killer yeah. eyes. No. No. The killer, the killer eye turns. Two. The killer no. eye too. That's boring. I know it's so dumb. Halloween. Like, why would you not call Return of the Killer Eye? The movie is just comedy horror. It's film. Halloween Hunt. Well, I think this was meant to be comedy too, Spiff. Oh yeah, I, I have well, a huge they, they failed. question yeah. about this movie. What is the living situation of these people? They're, yeah, they all I, live together. It's again. all They're supposed kind to be of fluid all and... separate apartments. Because everyone's but... walking into everyone else's, and then the scientist yeah. and his wife live with the assistant and his Good wife. Night. No, they're fiance. two different apartments. They're they're all supposed to be different apartments. Yeah, it seemed to me like they were roommates. They, yeah, that's why I think they filmed it in uh, David Dakota's. Which, house. He sent her to the neighbors to get some attention. The neighbor, the neighbor, so that was down the stairs. Stairs. But then there was that weird guy in the attic. Yeah, what, that yes. guy was the best. He sounded the like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Creepy every Bill. Time he did, yeah. Creepy Bill. He was Creepy great. Bill. Is that what it was? This is like in sitcoms. Every it's sitcom like where people sitcom. live in an apartment building, everybody's always going into each other's apartments, mm-hmm. which is Very actually kind of terrifying if I was ever to consider living in an apartment building. I don't want just <laughs> random people always coming in my fucking shit. This is why I don't like neighbors. Yeah. Like, Spiv, do you, do you communicate mm-hmm. with your neighbors regularly? Uh, yes, I do. See, that sounds awful. That sounds <laughs> fucking awful. Because so nice you don't actually like those street. people, do you? Yeah, you don't like no, those No, I people. like them a lot. They're, they're no, nice. you fucking don't. Would you hang out with them? Are they going to be in your band? For sure. Uh, they can't really move around very well anymore. Exactly. But, Fuck uh, those people. That's the... <laughs> but they do. They are musicians. They. Uh, she plays saxophone. He plays uh, the euphonium. The what? The, the euphonium. Okay. If we're making up instruments. That, that sounds, sounds like, like a euphonium. It's like a small tuba, guys. Yeah, yep. you a small tuba. <laughs> a baritone, if you want to think of it that way. Teach you how to blow on that thing. Mm-hmm. Anyways. They gave Henry a trumpet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like a real okay. trumpet, yeah. I didn't mean for this bit to go on that long. We have our neighbors um, <laughs> next to us. They just had a baby. Uh, Mr. Ken on the other See, side. See, this is, this is awful, and this is why I don't want neighbors, because this I don't want to talk to them about that shit. I don't care about their baby. That's super cute, though. I do like cute <laughs> babies. I do I like cute it's, babies. It was super premature, too, so it's tiny. But uh, uh, it's doing I don't well. like that. I like when they're chunky. Mm-hmm. And I feel it's like if I drop it, it'll just bounce and it'll be okay. Like this, yeah. I like when they look like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. You know what I mean? With like the extra rolls. <laughs> rolls on rolls. They're very yeah. squishy. Yeah, I like that kind of baby. Um, but going back to the movie, Lindsay, <laughs> you, you had said you liked kind of the style of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're, I think, all, we're approaching the runtime of the movie here. So. I think my problem with a lot of it is like the just boring yes. framing of the shots. And it's always like wide mm-hmm. with everyone in, in frame to like, I assume this is like a one or two take thing. And then we're moving on. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's we're shooting to me, it in three it days. Like a, it felt like a made for TV movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like made for but, Cinemax but, movie. But made for yeah. Cinemax. Yeah. So, yeah. Made for full moon streaming. Well. <laughs> Where Chris is going to be the only person that watches it. <laughs> oh, and I watched it. <laughs> I I want to talk about the science behind the eye. I'd like to talk to you about. Is that her legs? Your Eyeballs. extended auto warranty. Laura and no, I that, is, those were that does not look legs. like her legs at no. all. Uh-huh. Like, I don't. Dakota, <coughs> Dakota's. They're too thick. That's a man. Yeah. That's David Dakota's legs. That does kind of look like a guy's leg. I don't. <laughs> I'm not here to. Judge. I don't want to ankle shame. shame. Yeah. yeah, I'm not ankle shaming. <laughs> but 
Um, so this eye mm -hmm. comes to existence because he injects this young boy with four drops of his eye juice serum. Mm -hmm. And then when the guy uses the machine, it somehow brings forth something, but then wow. it comes out of his own head as a massive eyeball. Mm -hmm. It's supposed yes. to allow them to see into the eighth dimension. Mm -hmm. Right. How many dimensions and do we... did. What it, dimension are we point. in, Spiff? Well, we have three dimensions in our universe that we can perceive. Plus time. And some people think time is the fourth. So when he right. said the eighth dimension, I was completely lost. Yeah. What would you think the fifth one is? Because what's five, six, seven? Yeah. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Pancakes. Oh, there's that... There was that Korean movie where the people's fingers were hot dogs. What the? F what? Um, everything, <laughs> everything, everywhere, everywhere all at once. All at once. Oh. Yeah. It was, it was uh, a good movie. But, the fifth uh, dimension is a band. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, there you so go. Fifth dimension, man. What's the hot sixth dimension? Sixth. Hot dogs. Hot dog. Hot dog fingers. <laughs> That's the sixth. <clears throat> What's seventh? Beastie Boys. Mm. Oh, Beastie Boys <laughs> are not seventh. How another dare you? Another dimension. Another dimension. Um. So what's this? What's so? What's the eye's motivation? Because when it comes out, it it looks at like a reproductive <laughs> it studies system them very closely. Male they're reproductive gonna have system, female, female reproductive yeah. system. Well, because they Why say that this is like a, a scout sent out before the invasion. So I think their main goal is later. to just <laughs> they do big time. <laughs> But it's just when these some of the times when these monsters come, and I think this was and a point in humanoids from the deep too. It's like they want to reproduce with human women. It's kind I mean, of a, who, a little bit of a trope. wouldn't really. Who doesn't. I mean, the Carnosaur did too. Remember that one space <laughs> movie we watched with the little heavy breathing asthmatic <laughs> alien that read the Bible? <laughs> the one that went, yeah. What? Yes. Yes. Star, Star, Crystal. Star Crystal. Star Crystal. Oh my yeah. god. An asthmatic became, alien goo that became very reads religious. The Bible. He found Jesus. Yes. Right. He found Jesus because that was his exposure to humans like in their society. Oh, this is the first me. thing this thing's exposed to is human anatomy in a doctor eye doctor's <clears throat> lab. Yeah, I don't understand why he had those posters up. <laughs> Maybe his wife to learn hung them his up wife. just to like... Like, hey, remember this is hey, how these things like work? Yeah. Yeah. If I went into the eye doctor and that's what he had hanging up on the so walls, I would question what I'm doing right. here. Like, what well, is he going to be putting in my eye? The only people going in there are well, escorts he, anyway, so... How many right? fallopian tubes do you see, Chris? <laughs> Isn't he just better now? He's like, better now. what do you see? And it's just like a blurred out picture of a penis and yeah. <laughs> Penis, vagina, butthole. Um, so when this eyeball first came out of the of the kid, I thought yeah. that it was his eyeball that had grown to normal, enormous size. I did too. But, but later we learned that, that no, this is just what the creatures look like. This is what the creatures look like. But they They're do still enter the eye to eyeballs. suck mm -hmm. out their brain juices. And they're susceptible they to moisture. dry eye syndrome. Well, so... But why are they so horny? Because I've my eye has never been horny. I don't think I've never had an. Your eye eyes reaction. never like caught caught something across the room. Whoa! Oh, like, yeah. Well, that's Maybe stimulating like something stuff. in your brain. Yeah, that's my brain, not my eye. My eye is so just. Oh, but doesn't... in this case, it's a self-contained eye. Slice. It's a closed like loop eye system. Mm -hmm. Tentacle system. So. <laughs> so that makes sense then. It's just it's extra just, visually centered. Its its sexuality mm -hmm. is really based on vision, much like but, men, but to an extreme because it's only an eyeball. Yeah, and tentacles. But <laughs> what is the benefit of having an eye that large? Like, if my eye was that large, would I see more? Could you'd I be able see to perceive further? Perceive a ton of light. You'd be able to absorb a lot of light. So what <laughs> would that do? It's hard to say. You could see in I the dark real good. I think it just makes for like a fun. Sci-fi monster, I think, is <laughs> no, what they no, were no. going for. No, they didn't think science. about anything behind. It's like, let's have a giant eyeball. Mm, I'm pretty sure it was. But does does that make scientific sense, Lindsay? I don't think we should. <laughs> that eye would be so dry just from the fucking central air conditioning because it didn't have any mm. uh, eyelids. It had no tear ducts. Mm -mm. No tear ducts. Mm -mm. So it would just be perpetually mm -hmm. dry. It'd be very irritated. Very irritated. Mm -hmm. I wanted more or something special from the eyeball vision. Mm. I wanted to see. Uh, that was a little like lackluster. Yeah. That yeah. was lackluster. You know what I mean? An eye that big, like you're expecting something. Circle vignette, right? 
Mm-hmm. Some some other thing for it to do besides just tentacle I, up women. You know what I mean? I want to know, Chris, what your extra twenty minutes was. Yeah. Okay. So we had a scene with uh, yeah, we, this woman. We, we had this scene, yeah, where she gets naked. We didn't see anything though. We saw so boobs. See, we saw so boobs. You saw topless. We didn't yeah. see Hurt? tentacles. Yeah. And then the scene with uh, the, the shower, lady working right? out. Yeah, how long was your yeah. shower scene? Because that went on Pretty for like long. six it was, minutes. It was extremely long. It was yeah. very long. It was all long. the tentacle scenes were very long. Way too long. Yeah. I think that was it then. Interesting. How was yours? An hour and thirty-two. I don't know. Mine was an hour ten. I was. Mine so... was an hour twelve. Like yeah, there was, was a couple scenes minutes. where I thought, "Oh, here we go. It's going to get into another one," but it never did. It never did. This poor lady just can't get any. Mm-mm. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way that's real. This is why you know you're in fiction. No. That is fiction. She tries and she tries. But and she why? Tries. Why is she so horny all the time? Why is that a plot point? Because some people. She's are, not Chris. getting it from anywhere. Right. She the got two, it from the two gay guys. You can't even get it from the eighth. They were all pilled out of their heads. They, they didn't. They didn't perform. The one guy tapped out, and the other one's like, "Yeah, let's." T- I'm just gonna I'm sit so here high. and watch. Yeah. Were they brothers? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they looked like the same person. Yeah, I couldn't tell them apart. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> but that was a very yeah. odd scene with the two on the bed and the one guy just rubbing his belly and his chest. And he, I don't know. Rubbed, he rubbed his chest and thighs quite a bit. Quite yeah. a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and then we had, yeah, and this scene went on for like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. The lighting was good. <laughs> True. That's, that's about nice, it. Nice shadow work there. <laughs> and so you also have the assistant and his wife, mm-hmm. and the assistant works for the mad scientist guy. Mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine working in the same building as your boss like that, right? Because he just completely violates his privacy. He comes into his apartment, says he needs him to come to work immediately. Okay. Depends on your type of job. If you're like an assistant, some people that are personal assistants. Oh, yeah. Assistants some people actually like, have to do that shit, right? right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugh, not that's going to be all awful. of us are self-employed, Chris. All right. Some of us actually have to go to work and stuff. Mm, like do do stuff. And listen to our bosses. And tell other people to do stuff because we're the bosses. That's the best part. It's not that great. It's pretty awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> are you Chris, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Okay, yes, sir. I'll be right there. See? I don't even work there. I don't even work here. (laughs) That's what makes it so hard, Chris. Your flashlights were weak. Like, these goofballs. It's super bright in there. It's light out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But this is supposed to hurt the eyeball. That guy, though, that guy was cracking me up. That dirty friend. You could tell he was having fun. He was having a lot of fun. (laughs) Discount Brad Pitt. He sounded so much like Beetlejuice. I hate in movies when they use a flashlight. But like you can see everything the whole time. Uh huh. It's just offensive to the viewer. Like mm. I can see. How can you not see? <sighs> yeah. I mean, you, I mean yep. you guys. We got a lot to talk about with this. You movie. guys <laughs> ran an episode last week, and now this like you're like I'm just not even engaging. I'm just, just turning we, off. We, we went through the entire movie. movie. There is so much to unpack. There was there was a scene when um he. Ooh. The eye hypnotizes one of the bros, Mm -hmm. because that's what I called them, and they're watching some porn on the TV, and he's like, I want women, and the other guy pointed him at the TV. I'm like, is he going to put his penis in the TV? It reminded me of the time that Aaron (laughs) got up and humped the TV. Did I? What were we watching? (laughs) I I believe that happened. (laughs) Scarlett Johansson was on the screen. I was probably being silly, yeah. Oh, God. (laughs) That's Which a story times, we don't need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but Spiv, were we topless sharing a bed? I wish. Yeah, probably. I wish. I don't know. And man, uh, for, I mean, they st- they reused a lot of shots in this movie of the eye, like, going mm. through the door where you see the little the end of oh, it or through the yeah. vent. It's like. I did notice, and Chris, I hope you have a, a shot of this. The The bros sink in the bathroom. It's not round. It is hexagonal. 
What? I do not. That sounds badass, oh, wow. though. I have never seen a hexagonal sink before. Why I think I was too busy thing? looking at all the pill bottles they mm -hmm. had around it. Like hangover ease and something else. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't figure out what they all were. What drugs were they actually doing? What they like had candy? a whole plate of plate them. Of them. Plate of them. Yeah. This is like, Look like candy. Blue Fear ones and red in Las ones Vegas and... type of thing. The coolest part of the movie is when they send the eye back to its own dimension and we mm -hmm. get a single screenshot of its <laughs> land. <laughs> <laughs> With, this, is when, this is when we learn that they're all eyeball creatures. Of the, mm -hmm. yeah. and that is some terrible ass CGI and <laughs> photoshopping going on there. <laughs> that is some extremely low effort Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, you draw the one eyeball and you don't want to draw it again. You just keep pasting it in there. Yeah. And then you resize them a little bit as you get closer to the... <laughs> you how, stretch how them out a little bit. And then the, the machine is in there too for some reason. Do you think they have fat eyeballs and skinny eyeball creatures? It looks like it. And why is there a pyramid? What does a pyramid signify for eyeballs? It, it means the eyeball creatures made the pyramids, Chris. Mm -hmm. <gasps> is that what that means? Aliens. Um, alien? Um, aliens. Okay, I got nothing else. I don't either. Uh, oh, and at the end, we didn't talk. The women are pregnant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Wow. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I think they just had bad sushi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the implications of the eyeball and it rubbing its tentacle on their face. It turns them on, Chris. Like they, it must do something because they're never the aware of what's going on and who it is. And I then think also, the little electrical charges are like putting them under some type of spell. I'm not I sure. We should, I think we, we should test this, Chris. Why don't you go to Costco and get a 12 pack of hot dogs? <laughs> it's a nine volt batteries and some wire. And chain them all together. Throw them over Amy's shoulder and. Plug that shit in. See what happens. <laughs> I like the way you think. I mean, like, yeah, that thing was. Oh man, I, I described it. Boy. I described it <laughs> as PT's penis because that's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> How do you penis? know what that looks like? <laughs> Who's ET? Oh, oh. alien. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Your <laughs> tentacle. Alien. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's not what I heard. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 never mind. <laughs> so that Does wasn't his fingers have glowing. Wait, I have no idea. It looked like a lot one of his long fingers, though. Mm. I thought you said something about Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer? I did Jerry not say anything. About he looks Jerry like a tentacle monster. Yeah. Former senator. He was a senator. He was a mayor too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I never knew that ET had a penis, but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it got to reproduce somehow. And then uh, at the end, when they're like setting up the trap or whatever, they, they really gloss over like what the fuck they're doing during that time. And then the scientist comes back and he's been possessed by the eyeball mm -hmm. and he holds up a stopwatch and he's like, yeah, I can I can click to the new another dimension or whatever. And it's, it's obviously it's, a it's obviously it's a, stopwatch. a stopwatch in his hand. And then he goes upstairs <laughs> with his wife and they're like looking around, waiting around, and the guy picks up another stopwatch and is like, "He just had a stopwatch." But this is that's what it was. I'm like, "Are you that fucking stupid?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't. They pick really, up on really any of that. rushed that part. Yeah, they really, really rushed through on that part. All that stuff at the end, I was like, "I don't know what's going on. I don't care." No. Um. Yeah, this was a rough one, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tim. Um, Thanks, Tim. Did you pull a <laughs> clip of um, the the assistant guy uh, doing his one of his last lines? That's right. You're gonna die when he no, says that to the eyeball. <laughs> I did pull a little bit of the music. <laughs> we can listen to that here. Okay. I agree. Oh, That's boy. those neighbors. <laughs> Need a palate cleanser. Yes. <laughs> when you hold me, I'll be.
be with you when you need me. God damn, it's a good song. I legit, I'm into it now. <laughs> <laughs> You've crossed. All right. It's on the playlist. Trust there. Man, All right. Uh, Aaron, would you recommend? Fuck no. No. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, Rebecca? Terrible. No. Lindsay? I don't think so. There's not enough, like, so awful it's funny stuff to make. Even though it's only an hour and, like, ten minutes, I, I don't think it's worth it. Biff. No, no recommendation. Witchcraft movies are so much better than this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you remember so in the last one where he's like, I'm invisible? He's like just putting his <laughs> hand between things. <laughs> that's the kind of effort I like. Like yes. <laughs> that's ridiculous. This was just like just a waste of time, honestly. Mm. Um Do you have any alternate titles, Aaron? Of course. Is nobody else? else? Let me take it downstairs. Spiv, you want to go first? I uh, I don't think I have any. Oh, you look like you might have some. <laughs> All right, fine. I wish I didn't see this movie. Horny balls from the eighth dimension. Ball bros take a nap. Doctor Doolittle in bed. <laughs> Tentacle touchers. I'd hit that. Um, ass stigmatism. (laughs) 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 Demon, demon drops, voyeur vision, high infidelity. There was a tentacle on the bed and the little one said, roll over. So they all rolled over and the eyeball popped out. Uh, You ain't nothing but an eyeball groping all the time. (laughs) What, what was supposed to rolling over? I don't know you, what you that never was. Heard that? It's like a little song for kids. Three like, in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Roll over. So they, so they yeah. all rolled over and one, one, fell, one out. fell out. You don't know that? Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. Well, next time you I have an opportunity you. to be in bed with multiple people <laughs> and you want space to yourself, yeah, roll those fuckers <laughs> out. That song. That. Okay. That's all I have. It's, okay. Anybody else? Uh, nope. Uh, I okay. balled. <laughs> I am coming out. Finally, I want the, I want the world know. to know. I don't know what's going on. Mm, these are all the eye things, aren't they? <laughs> I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just had morning crusties. Uh, yeah. That's oh, it. Oh god! What the fuck is morning crusties? <laughs> I you ever get the money? Cr- I don't know what they are when they're up in there, but they, you're talking it's, about your it's underpants. pretty satisfying to pick those bad boys out. They're like, got the crust up in there. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, not those morning crusties, Aaron. We can talk about that later. Anyways, time to move on and play a game. So here we go. Game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of pop. You try to do your best to slot in your conclusions are highly impossible. Shall we play? Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, let's get into some eyeball facts. Uh, true or false? Your eyes can get sunburned. False. True. True? False. Oh, yes, you can get sunburned. Yes. <laughs> Um, that is true. Ugh. There is good old that's uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's different than pink eye. That is. This is going to be a gross game. Yep. <laughs> 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 true or false? You can sneeze with your eyes open. False. True. False. Your eyes will pop out false. and will die. A thousand deaths. I sneeze with my eyes open all the time, guys. It's true. It's How true. You your eyes won't pop out. Bullshit. Your eyes might You'll not be pop fine. Out. I'm a mind blow. Closing that thing. <laughs> uh, humans can see more shades of what color than any other? Is it red, mm. blue, green, or brown? Red. Green? Brown? I have no idea. I'm going to say blue. Question. It is green. Minecraft. <laughs> That's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a creeper. <laughs> yeah. Now his name's Spiff. 
<laughs> if our eyes were cameras, how many megapixels would they be? Two. Yeah, it's hard to translate because depending on the distance from the image, your eyes can perceive quite a few, but... Well, actually... Um, I have 96. No 32 megapixels. Damn. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, that's nice I wouldn't want to edit that in oh, Premiere. Oh, what is that? Seven. Who's in the picture, though? <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. So the the ring Samara? Yeah. Samara's yeah. in your eyeball. <laughs> that can't be good. No. Uh, which animal has a cornea almost exactly the same as a human? A chimpanzee, a shark, a giraffe, or an ostrich? Ostrich. Ostrich. I gotta say chimpanzee, right? Yeah. Chimpanzee. Nope. You're wrong. You're both all wrong. You. Shark? It's a shark. Damn. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess How they're that... working on seeing if they can because they're so similar, seeing if they can use them for like cornea transplants. No. Really? Yeah. Can you go underwater then and not have to blink? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty badass. You just have to walk around with your head in a fishbowl. Your eyes get a scent for blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shark eyes. Black eyes uh, like true or false, eyes. you can make brown eyes blue. You, my. According to the uh, song, yeah. Brown, blue, blue. <laughs> Ow. Because I have brown eyes. False. I should make them blue. I do have brown eyes too, Chris. Brown eyes are so boring. I have boring brown eyes. Thanks. Well, it's true. You can have surgery to remove the brown part because all brown eyes have blue eyes underneath them. So they can peel uh, off the brown that layer. That seems risky. Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'll stick with the brown. It's definitely a cosmetic mm -hmm. thing only. That seems really dangerous. And, yeah. Um, about how many times does an eye blink a year? Three. A lot. <laughs> Eyes so don't blink. Blink. What? <laughs> I would say at least a couple a tens of thousands lot. a day, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be in the millions. Oh, I hate when people talk about well, it. Now I just can't stop minute? blinking. Uh, three, three, <laughs> three miles. Fuck. Three miles. Miles? New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a day off. <laughs> Approximately three miles. I'll say three million. Three million. I don't want to do the math. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, it is two close, but close, close. million times. 42. Blinking. <laughs> and that's it. Now your eyes are all watery and blinking. And so my coworker had eye surgery today. He's had like all sorts of problems. He's an older gentleman. And um, the last. He's turning them blue. He's had starting these issues with all these things floating around in his eyes, like causing issues with his vision. So they yeah. drained his eyeball today. Oh. And then they, oh. Saline. they put saline in. Yeah. Somebody yeah. else I know has done disgusting. that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool, though. It's probably not that bad. It's like uh, I, yeah, yeah. changing. Do you get to oil. do a shot of what they drink? <laughs> do they oh. give you the cup then filled with your eye? Use your eye goo. Eye crap. Yeah. Take it home. <laughs> It was really driving him nuts. Look, I never understood that because, like, if you have a baby, like, you can save the placenta and all that stuff, and that's fine. You can put that in your freezer. But I got my <laughs> gallbladder out, and they never even fucking offered. You know what I mean? You, like, I, I wanted to ask it, ahead of time. Yeah, hey, I think you have to ask them ahead of time. Now, could it's you please put they this send in it to the eighth dimension me? to feed the like, eyeballs? I want to mm. eat that. Can you eat a gallbladder if you fry it up pretty good? Yeah, it's edible. Should that you? It doesn't taste too good. Spit, would you eat my gallbladder if I made it for <laughs> barbecue you know? sauce? Well, I don't With know, a nice Chianti. Livers, right? <laughs> it probably tastes like liver, right? <laughs> barbecue sauce on that thing. It'll be great. Probably very barbecue gritty. Barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I think you marinate you it. You get all, all those gallstones gall 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 in there. I, yeah. I, I have a slow cooker. I could put it out in that, my smoker. There you go. I could, Ooh, I could smoke my gallbladder. Just break all that down and <laughs> now, cold gallbladder. It, now it was filled <laughs> with. Uh, oh God! Oh. <laughs> that sounds. You gotta open a restaurant called <laughs> Cannibal Kitchen. Oh Chris, and you get like body parts from the hospital. <laughs> yeah, you just need a fork to separate. I'm not hearing a no. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'll call them and see if they still have it. Uh, anyways, time to move on and do some listener feedback, so here we go. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E-mess. 
you tiny little e man you precious little e man where are you Last week, we checked out Dial Help from 1988. Matthew Pfeiffer, this episode was so amateur, it's making Chris look like a professional, which is saying something. Not fault. wrong. Not wrong. Hey, I tried. Also, Deodato's watching machine is on my list of movies to recommend for the Patreon wheel. It's bananas. Bananas. It's a Jallo film with a lot of weird sex and three what sisters fawning over the same older men. It will make Chris super hornies. <laughs> Why? My eyeball come out. Can't have that. <laughs> the washing machine. Okay. Jesse Magers that. has no idea what this movie was about. When that horny purple phone was seducing her into the bathtub, I Ooh. stopped trying. That was the best scene in the movie. The director really phoned this one in. Despite my hang-ups, oh, I enjoyed the episode. Mm. Nice. Thanks, Jesse. You need to watch this movie. I did have the superior only. hosts. <laughs> it's true. Now that you guys know how to do it, now I can take that time exactly. off. Exactly. You can take vacations. <laughs> Well, I'm going to miss the rest of the podcast no. this year. So. <laughs> no vacations. <laughs> He'll be back for the BMNEs. And you'll be like, what? What's back. that movie? Yeah. Huh? What? I'll be like Spiv. It's going to be like 2018. <gasps> yeah. Jason Case, how does Dial Help make the room look terrific? The room has a coherent plot. Well, Dial Help doesn't. Mm. I, I Dial thought Help was Italian. Does, nice. does, does the room company. have a plot? Yeah. I mean. A coherent that's a one? stretch. I don't know about that. <laughs> It has a little bit of one. There's a little bit of one. It's not surreal. Like, I assume the killer eye was. Or not the killer eye. Was this the dial phone? Dial help. Was it surreal? I don't think it's all that surreal. No? Not surreal? It was Italian, but it wasn't surreal. There was some elements, but... There was phone vision. Yeah. Mm. Phone vision's cool. Oh, man. Marilyn Knepper, this movie looked great, and the kills were cool. Story was a little messy would be a decent movie for someone who hadn't seen Italian horror to start with. There's another movie on YouTube about killer phones called Bells. We did that one, didn't we? No, we did... Um, the killer phone. Murder by phone. Murder by phone, right? Because I, I think it also goes by Bells. Oh, okay. Maybe it's the same. Maybe That was a fun one. That was Australian, right? Was it? Maybe. They don't have phones in Australia. I don't think they do. <laughs> uh, we have a bunch of alternate titles here. Marilyn, alternate title, Dial, huh? John Burnham, alternate title, Help, I need somebody. Help, trapped in this energy. Help. Need oh, I got this, the Beatles. Help. help, trapped in this energy. Help. Oof, this is a Doesn't precursor to that Beatles song you covered. I don't know if I'm as, as excited for it. Yeah. Taylor <laughs> Ann. You seem confident there. You used to call me on my hotline. <laughs> the opening credits music, I believe, is what that's referencing. You didn't ever that leave a message. That song is banging. It was, that's music of the year for sure. And I had another title here. Oh, there we go. Was Jason Hayes alternate title. The guy from Goblin, yeah. Yeah, oh. Guy from Goblin. oh, it was sweet, man. Yeah. Jason Case alternate title The Haunted Phone. Mm-hmm. Who is phone? Who is phone? You can really do them. I guess I guess there's probably cell phone movies nowadays where it's like, oh my yeah, cell phone. You can't do there it. There was a movie called cell phone, right? A ghost in it. I know. We can make a movie with this guy and he's in a telephone booth and he can't hang up. It's like speed, but in a phone booth. Oh shit. I call it phone time. <laughs> I'm time on the phone. We could call him Farrell. Anyways, oh, oh, um, you could call it call waiting. Oh, oh it's good. You it's if good. you'd it's like to good. leave us feedback, so I can read it and then we can talk about it. You have to do it. Leave a comment on our YouTube. Smash that like button and subscribe and all the stuffs because they're <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> Just do it. Just fucking do, do it, it for Al Gore. <laughs> it really does help, though. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so tired, guys. I'm low in. We get <laughs> we get so many subscribers and and a fair number of views, I would say, but very few comments. 
<clears throat> and I, I think that keeps us from from releasing. <clears throat> I mean, it could, could be nice. just to trying to be nice. You know, don't if you don't have anything to say, nice. don't say something nice to say. Just don't say anything. No, say bad stuff. It's fun. Chris gets really sad. <laughs> 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 It's true. Chris, <laughs> he takes Chris, it personally. Don't have to worry about that, though. Okay, don't don't worry about that crap, man. We know, do we? Don't do any research. Yeah. And other people are better than us. Really selling us right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do any. Later. We do the least amount of effort. We're terrible. <laughs> we we, we watch the movies, guys. That's that's. But effort. can you pity, like, and subscribe? Yes. <laughs> Chris, don't right. worry. I'll be with you when you're feeling blue. I'll be there when you're happy to bing a poo. <laughs> 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 All right. When I know Vaughn. Dude, he smokes a lot. <laughs> it's time for the wheel. Is it? The, the original wheel. We have a wheel? Bin. Uh, Should be like the, all witchcraft at this yeah. point. Witchcraft uh, 10. Witchcraft 10. Three. Star Wars. No. The Rage. Jaguar. <laughs> Perfect Wars. Storm. Witchcraft 10. Uh, New World Disorder. Oh, the Rage isn't supposed to be order. Is that Rutger Hauer? Rage the Rage is a Patreon page. Where is Rage? That's a Patreon. Fuck. Okay. I think I got it. I think it's going to be witchcraft, guys. Oh, God. I hope oh, so. Witchcraft. <laughs> Here. I can't do that after this go. week. Witchcraft, witchcraft. Oh, oh no! That's no. worse. <laughs> That's worse. Oh, That's no. worse. Movie of the year. Got three witchcrafts on there, and then we picked the worst What's movie. The subtitle: Attack of the Something Somethings. <laughs> it's not gonna Holy be good. Holy shit! You know we can't watch this. We never saw the first one. I was gonna there say there is no first one. <laughs> uh, oh, then we can't watch it. <laughs> <sighs> What's this shit called? Star Worms 2? This is yeah. going to be so bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Attack of the Pleasure Pods. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm going to rent this shit. Oh, this would be awesome. Is it not free? It's got to be on YouTube cents. somewhere. 99 cents. 99 cents. It's a trauma movie. so it might It's going to kill my budget. I can't do it. <laughs> no. Oh, the whenever I, whenever I see this that opening, I'm like, oh, yes. It's shaking the foundations of the entire universe. Oh, man, not bad, not bad. On a dangerous, desolate planet. <laughs> desolate planet. Fugitives from an evil galactic empire. It actually looks pretty good. Outside of Los Angeles. And the planet's primitive inhabitants. It's a death mission. Whoa. That's a that's fake a mustache. mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this it's might be game. worth it. I don't know. Uh oh, here they go. Ooh, there's the Star Wars. More tentacles. Monster Truck Rally. See you at the okay. bus. Sunday, little, Sunday, Sunday. I'm a little more on board now. Ah! Awesome. Empire corrupted. Oh. <laughs> the universe. Yeah, there's a lot right. going on. Okay, I don't There's know. This doesn't look bad. I'm worried we saw all the good parts. <laughs> How probably long isn't really is it? Any. I'll watch the good parts again. An hour 30 minutes? No, there's it's no way long. it's that long, is it? That's what IMDb says. What does IMDb know? Not much, usually. Lots of stuff. <laughs> well, on Troma now. Do I still have a Troma subscription, Sean? I don't remember. 99 cents on Sean. Amazon. Uh, all right. I've seen Sean. Why would Sean know if there's a Troma subscription? Star Worms 2, Attack of the Pleasure Pods. I don't know how we've gotten here, but we're here, so we're going to make the best of it. It's in the history of time. Somehow it got on the wheel. <laughs> and, uh, you can blame it on me. It's okay. That's what we're doing next week. Um, hopefully AJ's back. Hopefully I'm a little bit more rested. Tired. Um, and I, you know, I might not just come next week. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure pods will find you. That's what we're watching. Star Wars 2 Attack of the Pleasure Pods. Pleasure Pleasure Pods. It is available Pleasure on Plus. Amazon uh, if you're interested or on Troma now if you'd like to give Lloyd Kaufman a few dollars. Uh, he would <laughs> <laughs> greatly appreciate it. Um, Pervy Bernie much. Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> it's good nickname for him. Uh, all right. That's it for this week's episode. Pervy if you Sanders. enjoyed it, 
please go to <laughs> iTunes, leave a review. Consider joining Patreon, patreon.com slash bad movie night show, and you get access to the Slack and the movie recommendations on the Patreon mm-hmm. wheel and on Battlefield Earth and all that kind of fun stuff. There's like 300 bonus episodes on there. Not quite. I don't know. It's There's a lot. Like a There's lot a of lot. bonus shit on there. So, you can do that at patreon.com slash bad movie night show. Next Patreon. week, we'll be back talking about Star Worms 2, Attack of the Pleasure Pods. So, prepare yourselves. To be unprepared. Well, ple- be pleasure. pleasure? Uh, okay. Oh, For your I like pod it. To be pleasured. <laughs> Bad movie night podcast. 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 We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night.